Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use QuickBoard. This plugin adds a customizable scoreboard which supports placeholder API as well as multiple scoreboards for different groups using the permissions. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the Spigot tab and type in QuickBoard. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it to your plugins folder manually. As you can see, I've also got a few other plugins installed to show you more of the features of this plugin. When you first join the game, you'll see that you have the default scoreboard. You can see that my placeholders are not showing up. That's because I haven't downloaded them yet. If you want them to display correctly, what you'll need to do is go over to the placeholder API wiki site, which is linked in the description, and search up these placeholders. Then it will tell you what commands you'll need to run to download them. Run the command in game to download them, and once you've done that, reload the placeholder API plugin, and then as you can see, they show up properly. Do this for all the placeholders that you're using. Now let's take a look at the scoreboard config to see what changes we can make. Locate it in the plugins folder and then the scoreboards folder. And here at the top you can change the title which can be animated. Then you have the main text here. That's what's going to be in the body of the scoreboard. In here as you can see there are some placeholder API placeholders and also some built in ones. Going lower ensure that you have the world that you want the scoreboards to show in here and even lower is the changeable text options and the scroller options. The changeable text option basically goes through each of these texts and displays them in order. So in this example it shows the player health, then the player coordinates and then the join date. You can have whatever you want on these lines here. So let's add a new one just by copying and pasting this one and changing it around. Once you've done that, make sure you put it into the actual scoreboard text just above here, like I've done. If you want to use the changeable text, type in the curly brackets, then ch underscore, and then the ID of the name for the changeable text, and then close it off with the curly brackets again. The scroller part is very, very similar, except that this time it's just going to show a scrolling text. Just copy and paste the existing one and change it to your liking. Once you're done, make sure to actually add it to the scoreboard. Again, it's a similar process, but instead this time change the CH to SC, just like I've done here. So now let's go into game and test it out. Save the file and reload the plugin in the game with slash QB reload. As you can see, the changes have been made. In this case, the scrolling text is a bit too fast, so I'm gonna go into the config and make it update a little slower. Now, if you want different groups to have different scoreboards, then you can do that too, using the permissions. First, go back to your scoreboards folder and create a new file. The name of the file will be the same as your permission node. I'll call mine scoreboard.test, but make sure that this file has .yml at the end of it, since that's the file format. Then, copy and paste what you have in the default scoreboard into the new one you just made. Change it around however you like, and then save it. When we go into game and reload the plugin right now, nothing changes. That's because of two things. First, this account is in the admin group, and second, we haven't actually given the permission to the default group. So let's add the permission to the default group and make sure that it's the same permission as the file name. Now that we've done that, I'm going to relog with my other account, which has the default group. And as you can see, once I relog, our other test scoreboard is showing up. So you can set different scoreboards for different groups or even players. And that's about it for the plugin. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.